Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's official study guide, version 7, 2025. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when we are working together. Today is our lesson number 17. Today is our lesson number 17. We are on page number 109. We are solving percentage word problems. And in this page, on this page, you will find, as you can see there, five what they are calling practice problems. Here's number one. In number one, we are told that our current salary, we are told that our current salary is $55,000. We are further told that we just got a raise of 4.5%. 4.5%. The question simply is, how much was our raise? Now, 4.5%, if you wanted to, you can figure out what 4.5% is in decimal, which would turn out to be 0 0.045, and multiply that by 55,000. We could do that if you wanted to. And if that's, what you, if that's the route you want to go, be my guest. I don't like doing it that way. Okay, let's do it, let's do it logically. This is, this is like a robot, this is like a machine. Let's do it logically. So we're going to do it in two steps. We're going to figure out what 4% is, we're going, to, we're going to figure out what half a percent is. And we're going to add them up, that's all. Let's take a look at it. Uh, 55,000 is what we're dealing with. 10% 10 of 55,000. I should not have done it in the middle because I need the room. As I said, we're going to do 4%, we're going to do half a percent. 10% of 55,000. I'm not sure if it improved the situation or not. I still don't have any room. 10% of 55,000 is simply one-tenth of it. You take your 55,000 and divide by 10, and that's going to give you 10%. Then it's going to drop out. But we're not interested in 10%. We're interested in 1%. 1% 1 of 55,000 is simply 1 out of 100. That's what 1% means. 1% means 1 out of 100 times 55,000. In other words, this time, we don't have a 10 in the bottom, we have a 100 in the bottom. So when we were trying to figure out 10%, we knock out 1 zero. When we are trying to figure out simply 1%, it is 100th of the amount. 100th of the amount simply means you knock out the two zeros, divide top and bottom by 100, and you end up at 550. Let's pick this up on the, let's pick it up on the top. So we know now that 1%, we know now that 1% is 550. Right here, 1% of 1% of 55,000 is simply $550. We are not interested in 1%, we are interested in two parts. We are interested in 4% and half a percent. It's your choice which one you want to do first, which, whichever you want to do first. Let's do half a percent first. If 1% is 5, 550, half a percent must be half of that. Half of 500 is 250, and then half of 50 would be 25. 250 plus 25, half of 500 is 250 and half of 50 is 25, so that's 275. That part is done. Now let's figure out the 4%. Let's Again, 1% we know is 550. Well, if 1% is 550, 4% we want to find out, multiply both sides by 4. And when you multiply both sides by 4, all of a sudden we will have our 4%. Therefore, 4% must be 4 times this amount. Again, don't try to multiply 550 times 4. Think logically. It's much easier to multiply 500 by 4. How much is 500 by 4? 500 times 4. 500, 500 times 4 is 2000. And then 50 times 4 is going to be another 200. So that's 2200. And that represents 4%. We already know what half a percent is. Half a percent is 275. There we go, we have our answer. The question was, 
How much raise did we get? If our salary was increased by 4.5%, the answer is we just got a raise of $2,475. Let's take a look at the next one. Number two. Number two, they're asking us to find out 35% of 900. And again, the classical way, the classical way, the traditional way, the orthodox way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the mathematical way, the way your math teacher will ask you to do is this. But don't do that way. Break it up into two parts. Like figure out what 30% is, figure out what 5% is. And in order to figure out either the 5% or the 30%, we start with the 10%. 10%, 10 of 900 is simply going to be 90. One, one tenth of that amount. We're not interested in 10%. We're interested in 30% and then we're interested in 5%. We're going to do it in two parts. If 10% is 90, 30% multiply both sides by 3. And there we go, 10 times, 10 times 3 will give us 30%, which means 30% must be 90 times 3, which is 270. Now let's do half a percent. I left no room. I don't know if you actually have to root it out. 10%, oh sorry, not half a percent. Now we have to do 5%. We did 30%, now we have to do 5%. I hope you are able to see right away that if 10% of 900 is 90, then 5% must be half of 90. 5% 5%, 5 of 900, if, let's erase this part so we can take a look at it now any, one more time. If 10% of 900 is 90, then 5% would have to be half of that. Half of 90 is 45. Just add them up. And there you have it. That's our answer. 35% of 900 is $315. $315. If you like, I can show you another way. Another, another untraditional, unorthodox way. We need the room, so I'm going to erase this part. So again, one more time. We wanted to find out 35%. So what we did, we first figured out 30 what we did was we first figured out 10%, 10% of 900 is 90. Once we had the 10%, we multiplied both sides by 3, and that gave us 30%. 30% must be 3 times 90, which was 270. And then we use the same logic. If 10% of 900 is if 10 of 900 is 90, it stands to reason that 5% must be half of 90, which is 45. We add them up. That's all. Here's another way to look at it. If we want to find out 35% of 35% of 900, 35% of 900, what well, that is same as 35% means over 100, off means times 900. This is what we are interested in. As you can see, we have two zeros at the bottom, two zeros on the top, which means if you, if you were to divide top and bottom by 100, we can knock out these two zeros. And all this question is asking us is, what is 9 times 35? Well, if somebody asks you 9 times 35, if somebody comes up to you and asks you what is 9 times 35, if you were to walk up to me and ask me what is 9 times 35, my answer would be, how the bloody hell do I know? I don't go around memorizing 9 times 35, but I do know what is 10 times 35. There I do know by heart. 10 times 35, 10 times 35, that I can do by, in my head very quickly. I can do it in a split second because all you have to do is take a zero. That's 350. They didn't ask me for 10 times 35, they're asking for 9 times 35. We're not interested in 1035, we're interested in 935s. Well, if you're interested in 935, just subtract a 35 from it. 5, 10 minus 5 is 5, and this becomes 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, there you go. This must be 90%. If this was, if this was 10 times 35, this would have to be 9 times 35, because we took away 135 from it. 350 represents 1035. If you take away one of the 35, what, what we are left with must be 935s. 935 is $315, as we saw a second ago. Let's do the next one. Number three. And 
Question number three, we are told that we have a shirt that is priced at $50. We are further told that it is on sale. On sale at 25% off. Question simply is, if that were the case, what is the reduced price? Well, if it's 25% off, which means what we're going to pay is 75% of the price. So that's what we have to figure out. Question. All of this thing, all of this thing boils down to this question. It boils down to what is 75% of 25? And then somebody asks you for 75% of 25, again, if you were to walk, walk up to me and ask me what is 75% of 25, I would say, what the bloody hell? What do you expect me to do? I'm not a robot, but I can do it in two steps very easily. We know 50%, not 25, sorry. We want to find out 75% of 50. 25% of the percentage that is off. We want to figure out what is 75% of 50 because that's the regular price. Regular price of the regular price of the shirt is $50. It is on sale right now at 25% off, which means we'll only pay 75%. I don't know how to do 75% of 50, so we're going to do it in two steps. 50% of 50, 50% of 50 is half of 50, half of 50 is 25. That I can do in my head. Again, the logic tells me, logic dictates that if 50% of something, logic dictates that, logic dictates that if 50% of something is 25, then 25% must be half of 25. Half of 25 is 12 and a half. How do we know that half of 25 is 12 and a half? Again, don't look at half of 25. Break up 25 into 20, 24 and a 1. Half of 24 is 12, and half of 1 would be half. There we go. We have our answer. We're going to pay $37.50 because that represents 75% of the price. That represents 75% of the price. Let's do the next one. That was number three. Question number that was number three. We're gonna move on to question number five. I'm gonna do question number four by itself, and you will see when the time comes tomorrow in the next video why I did that. Let's look at number five. We are told that a car salesperson a car salesperson earns a fixed salary let me rewrite it this handwriting is this handwriting is getting quite atrocious earns a fixed salary of nine hundred dollars per month that's our fixed salary we are working we are a we are salesperson. It would be difficult for we to become become a salesperson, but you understand what I meant. We are working on commission. You are working, I'm, com I'm working on commission. I'm a salesperson. I get a fixed amount of $900 per month. That's my fixed amount. That's the, my fixed salary. I get that every month. Plus, plus I'm told when I was hired, I was told that I would also get 6% of sales. Here's the question. We are told that this young lady's sales, her sales last month was $58,000. Her sales last year were $58,000. Question is this, how much, how much did she earn total? How much total did, did this young lady earn if she is to, if she is to get $900 per month plus 6% of all the sales? Essentially all you have to do is figure out the 6% of this amount and add 900 to it. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do it on the top. 6% of $58,000. $6,000 
six percent is fifty eight thousand dollars six percent means out of one hundred of means times and fifty eight thousand dollars fifty eight thousand dollars write your thousand write down fifty eight separately separate them write down fifty eight times a hundred times a ten be smart about it how you approach it just because it says fifty eight thousand does not mean that you have to write it as fifty eight thousand 58 times 100 times a 10 is 58,000 because 10 times 100 is a 1,000 and 1,000 times 58 is going to give you 58,000. But what it does do for us is that now we have 100 on the top, we have 100 on the bottom, we can knock the bloody thing off. Do you understand? Now all we have to figure out is what is 58 times 6. Once we know what 58 times 6 is, we're just going to stick a 0 at the end. Let's figure out what 58 times 6 is. 8, 6 is a 48, so that's 8, carry 4. 5, 6 is a 30, 30 plus 4 is 34. And now we have to multiply this amount by 10. That's going to give us 3, 4, 8, 0. So that's the amount of money that she gets in commission because it represents 6% of 58,000. She sold $58,000 worth of cars, we were told in the problem. If she sold $58,000 worth of cars, that's how much she got in commission. But she also gets $900, but she also gets $900 of flat salary, of fixed salary. Again, if you think logically, you don't actually have to do it all out, just think logically. 3,480, 3,480 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 would have been 4,480. But we're not adding a thousand, we're only adding nine hundred. So instead of four thousand four hundred and eighty, it's gonna be four thousand three hundred and eighty. Zero is gonna come down, this is eight, four plus three is four, four plus nine is thirteen. There you go, that's three. Makes sense? Because three thousand four hundred and eighty plus a thousand would have been four thousand four hundred and eighty. It's hundred less because we don't have a thousand here, we only have nine hundred. So that's how much she gets she's gonna get. That was question number five. We'll meet again tomorrow. As I said, I left out question number four on purpose. There is a reason for it. When we meet tomorrow, you will see it. Okay? Bye now.